planet Sera, things were not always peaceful. For year after bloody year, human settlers fought each other in the pendulum wars, a brutal struggle for control over a new energy source called emulsion. After eight decades of conflict, a coalition of ordered governments emerged triumphant. However, victory by the Khan did not bring peace because a new threat was coming. Just six short weeks after the end of the Pendulum Wars, Locus! the vicious locust horde erupted from underground caverns, slaughtering everyone in its path. Locust troops have breached the courtyard. We're on it! What became known as Emergence Day was the start of a new conflict, one for which the human race was in no way prepared. Imagine that. Serving as a gear in the Cog Army, Sergeant Marcus Phoenix became a fixture on the front lines of the Locust War and a legend to other gears. Well, that's one thing we agree on. For 10 years, Phoenix fought in battle after battle. His stature only grew when he was imprisoned for disobeying orders after a futile attempt to save his father, Professor Adam Phoenix. I've come to get you out of here. I've got to save my research. Four years later, a desperate cog put Marcus back on the front lines. Welcome back to the army, soldier. Humankind was losing ground every day. They're flanking! Only one stronghold remained, the capital city of Jacinto. Then, on a mission into the heart of Locust territory, Phoenix made a shocking discovery. A Locust horde was actually fighting a two-front war. Exposure to the emulsion energy source had transformed ranks of the horde into a new threat, the Lambent. These monstrosities had been attacking the Locust for years, and so it became clear. Emergence Day was not an invasion. It was the Locust's attempt to escape an even more deadly foe. They're desperate. All this time, we never realized that. Realizing humanity would never be able to defeat both the Locust and the Lambent by conventional means, I'm sorry. Phoenix proposed a radical solution. We need to sink Jacinto before the Locusts leave, not after. By sacrificing the last remaining human city, oceans would flood the underground caverns of Sarah, wiping out the Locust civilization. Two years later, human, Locust, and Lambent survivors alike battled for resources on the surface. <laughs> so much more diplomacy! Marcus was sent on a new mission after a mysterious message revealed his father was alive and in desperate need of help. I need your help. Fighting across the shattered ruins of Sarah, Marcus eventually reunited with Adam Phoenix. Marcus. Lambency, Adam Phoenix revealed, was caused by the emulsion energy source. It's not a fuel, Marcus. It's a living organism. And so Adam Phoenix had developed the ultimate weapon, a countermeasure that would eradicate emulsion and the Lambent threat, and in the process, end the Locust once and for all. There's too many! Hold them off! Just hold them off! In a brutal final confrontation, Marcus Phoenix fended off the vicious Locust Queen as his father readied humanity's last chance at survival. The plan succeeded, father and son triumphant, simultaneously wiping out all emulsion, Lambent, and Locust everywhere on Sarah. But this time, there was a terrible price to pay. Adam Phoenix had used emulsion on his own cells to study their devastating effects. But soon, father and son were torn apart for a second and final time. Alone in mourning, as the world celebrated the end of the Locust War, Marcus Phoenix saw little hope for the future, and nowhere left to go. But after some time, Marcus started a new life with fellow soldier Anya Stroud. Eventually, they had a son, James Dominic Phoenix, better known to his friends and squadmates as J.D. As the decades passed, the coalition of ordered governments reformed itself. Human civilization began to rebuild, and the Locust War became a distant memory. Now, 25 years later, J.D. Phoenix has become a warrior in his own right and has uncovered a new threat, a mysterious race called the Swarm. J.D.? J.D. doesn't know what these creatures want or where they came from, but he knows he won't be able to face them alone. Dad! Once again, war has come to Sarah. Once again, a phoenix will rise to fight it.
Previously on Gears. We used to protect Cox settlements. Now we're about to raid one. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Lieutenant, you've been busy. Look, our village hasn't had power in weeks. We need this fabricator. I don't care about the goddamn fabricator. You're taking my people. What happened? The shore version? The cop is on his way. You promised me you could steal that fabricator without provoking Jin. This has nothing to do with a the fabricator. Then what did you do? Jin accused us of taking her people. Yeah, whatever that means. Get the fabricator to the power station and install the inverter. You realize Jin's coming back, right? We need to leave now. Mom! Hey, listen. You need to hide, and then you need to run. <laughs> Look, you know as well as I do that he can help. Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Dad, you should look at this. Shit. Uh, guys? Thought you said you weren't running from the car. Yeah, that wasn't completely accurate. We need to get through that fort to the abandoned Osborne line on the other side. The car dumped a few thousand locust bodies in there after If your swarms relate to the corrupts, we'll find out there. I guess we're all alone out here. We definitely found where they're coming from. And where those snatchers are going. My dad's alive and he's down there. Thank you. 
Previously on Gears. Pete is not ready for this. She can barely keep her eyes open. Don't worry about her. She'll be ready. Eight or nine minutes in. Nightmares. Does it get better? It gets tolerable. Satellites up? Hey, hey, get back! Oh shit! What the hell? Uh, I need to search a place that's falling apart. Quickly. Come on, we can use the ledge. Bear's plan to launch a satellite from here? It seems a little half baked. Well, half baked plans are kind of Baird's specialty. How Baird even figured out they had a half plan? My father? Before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, it has plenty of them. Hey, over there. Could be useful. Hey, fetch.
I didn't expect there'd still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off Azura alive. and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out. So, strength's not an option. How much rocket base is even left? Let's find out. You guys go right, Marcus and I will go left. We'll find those silos. 
That's good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Silos, two paths. You got a better idea?
few more up here. You two push ahead. Copy that. Watch it, swarm! Uh, oh shit, carrier! Bro, we can use those reinforcements right about now! The Condor's almost within range, Delta. Okay, kid. Reinforcements incoming. I've got Guardians or DR-1s. What do you want? Secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. I'm going. a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay, we'll go. Scanning in the Indian area, detecting all inferior cloud technology. Oh, come on now. That's just me. Concerns, 
Please call the right to the Ministry of Settlements. secret data. Gotcha. Hey, Control. Good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, you know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. This way. Nope, dead end. Ah! Oh, shit. 
shit, they were heavy. Man, we leave you guys alone. yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silent doors. Error. Error. Uh, Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Bare options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No, you get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You gotta get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. Gotta be a manual override here to stop. Find a way up. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, follow that platform. Ignition. Ignition. Engine Oh, <laughs> 
position! Come on. 15 seconds to launch. You gotta go! Hey! 10 seconds to launch. for extraction. How about I see Jin first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call her what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? Th that's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah! Uh, What's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Ah. 
Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh -huh. And... And he's... All yours. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy. Installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Let's put this to good use. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly. So. Say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Right. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. Test sequence complete. Huh. That could be useful. Now let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Commencing reload. Uh. Uh. Investigating potential detainment target. Flat! Unit attacking. Uh. Uh. Feel free to let me get if you want. Test sequence complete. No offense, JD, but uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can 
Barbara. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your thing. Come on. <gasps> Hey, Foz, how's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about me? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work of punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab a jack component and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit, it's false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? I'm done with this day. And it's not even noon yet. <laughs> Ah, there's a component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. Jack, can't wait to test him out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jin's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. <sighs> oh, Kate, come on, enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will, I promise. After we talk to Jin.
Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. For both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her! If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the Allfathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them. The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah, that'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Please, slow down. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go.
the last one. Thanks. Get us out of here. Boss, get cold. Thanks. Well, that sucked. Baird, look, our Raven's down. Can you patch us through to Carmine? Uh, no can do, kid. His radio's out. You okay? I can see him at the central hub, so he's up and fighting, but the swarm's all over him. Hurry if you can. Run our way. Come on, Delta. Let's get out of here. 